Okay, we're going to talk about the future of the Universal Monsters, the classic monsters. Now, um, we know that uh, in film that Universal has been talking about making more uh, remakes of, of the monsters. Yes. I guess the, the term remake, I guess, is becoming so out of fashion now, I guess, but they're, they're kind of going to do some new version of all the monsters, and it's going to be like a shared universe type of thing inspired by the success of Marvel. Avengers with all their, and all that. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's been delayed. I don't even know what the current status is because we're shooting these videos kind of in advance a bit, but uh, um, it's been delayed. I don't I don't know what's going on with them at the moment, but initially it was implied that they wouldn't be straight up horror movies, but more action-oriented, oh, okay. which ticked off a lot of people because a lot of people wanted fans. to see them more yeah. like classic you know horror. But... Then, then they, they've said so many conflicting things because when Dracula Untold came out, yeah, which I think was last year, I was confused um, by that because I thought that maybe that, that was, was be, part of well, this. I think everybody, I think even Universal might have thought that. I, I forget because I think <laughs> it seemed even... like that was going to be the start, and then that movie sucked, and then so, and then they, they were like, like, "Oh, that's not the start." Yeah, oh, no, that's a really <laughs> not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, don't don't worry, we're going to start yeah, soon. Don't once worry. They, once they have one come out and it's a hit, they're yeah, going to be yeah, like, exactly. "This is the one we're starting yeah. with." So yeah. the mummy has. They've been saying that the mummy is going to be the the, the first. Yeah. In all until these. that bombs, and then they're going to tell you. That's oh not the no! First one. Yeah. No, really, we're doing another. Uh, oh, Wolfman that's the first one. mummy. There's another mummy yeah. coming later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, like nobody knows what's going on with all that uh -huh. shit. But here's the thing. Um, what do you think of the monsters being in some kind of like action? thing like something that isn't like um at this point hard. in time i'm i'm fine with it mm -hmm. because it's like listen if you ever want to see the great universal monster movies mm -hmm. you can always go back and watch the originals oh, yeah. so it's kind of like and you know what they're never gonna top those and they're never gonna be able to recreate what bela lugosi did yeah. and boris karloff and all that you're it's not gonna ha lon cheney yeah. jr and like th those are classic movies mm -hmm. that will stand the test of time forever by the way those are my favorite movies of, of all like, oh yeah the, i love those movies mm -hmm. and it's weird to not pick because a lot of people will ask what's your favorite movie and my my answer to that is the universal monster oh, movies it's not as just a whole package as a package like to, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um they're definitely up up there for sure sure it's so hard to like when it comes to favorite films, that's a whole other thing. It's yeah. Kind of like, I have individual films that are my favorites, but right. yeah, as those whole monster things, like, it's one of my favorite things ever, for yeah. sure. And, uh, and I don't have a problem with this whole thing coming back and them mm -hmm. doing, like, this, um, making it more action-oriented, because it's kind of sad, because, you know what, I was just down in um, Universal Studios mm -hmm. in Orlando, Florida, and, th and they got all kinds of things going on there. They're building, like, a whole Nintendo world, and they got Harry Potter going on, and I walked through the Universal Monsters section, mm -hmm. and it was, that was the deadest part of the park, oh, and yeah. I felt like, oh. I was oh, yeah. so sad by that. And when this happens, if, it, if it's successful like Avengers is, I think that will bring the monsters back and it would renew the interest in the monsters. And then maybe people, more, more people from this generation might, you know, be interested enough to go back and watch the original movies. And maybe it will garner in a new generation of people to, lo to, to watch again yeah. the original movies and get them to love it again. Because, like I said, those are my favorite movies of all time. And I think that it's sad that there's so many people that won't watch a black and white movie. Oh, that's uh, pathetic. This day, yeah, this day really and age. Yeah. And because, you know, those movies are very so slow paced, but it's like... You got to get over that. It's kind of like it's kind of like drinking Jaeger. I think like, myself, are they slow paced? It's, it's like, like it doesn't the, seem slow the first time you me. ever drink Jaeger. It's like oh god, this is disgusting. But if you have it a, a bit, you're like all right, well it's not so bad. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Like yeah, they're slow paced, but get over that. Like it's the the move. They're fantastic they're, they're movies. Beautiful looking they're movies. Be like, they're beautiful. But, but uh, you know, I, I mean, I'll, I'll say what I think of the whole action version too. But um, also, since you, you're on to that, I actually want to jump ahead to the, the main message, really, which I was going to say at the end. But I think the most important thing they need to get the classics on TV more because every time at Halloween, you, you know, you turn on AMC or yeah. something, what do you see? Halloween Part Five, yeah, you know, some shit Friday movie. the Thirteenth Part Five. You right. know, it's like. It's just all this kind of stuff with with commercial breaks and right. and censored. It's, and it's, it's like, like this generation thinks see... thinks of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees as as the classics, but it's like no. I mean, the, 
I like them too. I oh, like yeah, yeah. I like Michael Myers and Halloween and 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 Leatherface and that that's great. But that doesn't that you don't just have that. That that you, might that be, that comes uh, that comes along with Frankenstein yeah. and Dracula, which everybody's forgotten. That, that about. might be like Bronze Age horror. You yeah, know, this is yeah. you know we're talking Golden Age horror. Um, they need to show them on TV because how else are you going to see them and be introduced to them? And it's you would think like you know like. Like every Halloween, Charlie Brown, the Great Pumpkins got a show. There's like every Christmas, you know, you got to show the Grinch, you know, uh, you know the the original animated one. Right. And uh, it's kind of like I feel like those movies, Dracula, Frankenstein, the Mummy, like all those, they should be playing them every Halloween. You know, those those should be traditions. And you're more likely to just see them on in the grocery store on a cereal box. People don't know where they what came it, what's from. coming from. You're seeing Boo Berry yeah. and you're seeing Frankenberry, and it's like you, they, people haven't watched Frankenstein. Yeah, a lot, you know, most people that are that are sitting there eating yeah. Frankenberry have not watched uh-huh. Son of Frankenstein. And I and feel, they should. and you know what, I do have to say, Turner Classic Movies they do show them sometimes. Not a lot though, and I feel like it. It probably is some kind of uh, thing with Universal. Probably some kind of licensing like issue or like. Uh, maybe not an issue, but it might just be like Universal wants you know more money for mm-hmm. it. It's something there, there's some reason why those are are shown less often than like shitty like harm and and right. I don't even just mean like newer shitty ones. I mean like even older shitty ones. Like you'll see like, like what's a, an example? You'll, you'll see like um, like, like this. <laughs> like you'll see uh like uh. The, the, the devil bat with Lugosi or something right. like that, you know, like, like something more minor, you yeah. know, they'll um, be playing like kingdom of the fucking spiders with William Shatner or something oh, yeah. o- overplaying Dracula. Like, are you kidding? Yeah. Um, I mean, Turner classic movies was showing Billy the kid versus Dracula the other year. And I was <laughs> like, well, that's funny to see that again. I mean, it, it is a Turner. I remember they showed it on TNT like 20 years ago, yeah. but, um, they got to show the classics. Now the action thing, uh, the uh, the whole thing about how they're talking about they're going to reboot the monsters in like a an, an action thing. I don't even know if that was even true. I think it was kind of like people thought they compared it to Marvel because of the shared universe mm-hmm. thing. They might have assumed, oh, they're, the monsters are going to be superheroes. Now, actually, tell you the truth, I think they should do straight up horror. They they should have some kind of like serious horror remake of them at some point, but I don't think there's anything wrong with making a superhero yeah. version of the monsters or some kind of action thing because there's so much you can do with the yeah. classic monsters. I mean, if you want to talk about what what I think they actually should do compared to what mm. what it's gonna be, I mean, you know what? If 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 they can make a, a movie where all the monsters are fighting each other and it's this big huge spectacle yeah. the way Avengers are, you know what? Go for it because people will like it and enjoy it. Yeah. Do I think that that's the best thing that they can make? No. Yeah. But if if yeah. that's what's going to bring back the monsters, then and I'm bring them for back it. together. Like yeah. let's see like let's see something we haven't seen. Like let's see a whole movie of the mummy versus the wolfman. You know, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then then do Dracula versus um, the Invisible Man or something. Like, just right. do everything and then put them all together in one thing. Yeah. But anyway, with, with if they're... Say, say they are kind of like a comic book kind of thing. You know that Marvel did a whole bunch of comics, uh, you know, way earlier. You know Tomb of Dracula? You ever hear that? Mm-hmm. Uh, Werewolf by Night, The Living Mummy. They actually did, like, whole things about those classic monsters and did a whole series with them. So there is so many things you can do with the monsters because now that they did like ant-man and stuff like that are you saying that like there should be some kind of universal marvel team oh, up or something you mean if marvel was doing yeah if, i mean if marvel did them and if they didn't they couldn't come to an agreement with universal i suppose they could just do it as the living mummy and not the mummy or i feel like, like there's no chance you know. of that happening because mm-hmm. now it's like marvel disney and then there's universal and then there's the universal you know it's that's too separate. well i mean i mean you can make a movie about dracula like it's not it's a it's a public domain kind of oh thing. if you want to look at it like that but I, like but it's you can't do the universal yeah like, like if it's a if it's a werewolf you can't call it the wolf man i think it has to be a werewolf right. like you know but and, and still... what we're talking about specifically is the the image of Boris Karloff yeah. and like the classic like Lugosi looking mm-hmm. you know Universal monsters. Yeah. And if not... it's Universal, it kind of has it's the official stamp. It's like yeah. you know that's the way you know. Th- there was one called uh, Van Helsing uh, a while back, and it mm. actually I am so mixed. I have such mixed feelings about that because it was so much like they were trying to do a really fun 
universal movie they even it begins in black and white mm-hmm. and they have dracula they have the frankenstein monster they have all of them in there and it's a big you know crazy fun action movie but there's something about it that just didn't click where it just kind of felt like just some shitty you know right 2000s movie with a bunch of cg honestly i mean i hate to say it, but i feel like i would be surprised if they if they pull it off and it becomes a, a big success because it's mm-hmm. just like the Universal Monster characters are just, they're not really po- that all that popular anymore in comparison with things like Batman and Superman. And there's a reason why something like the Avengers is popular. It's because those superhero comic books are popular and they, they have been. So it's like people want to see those movies like Thor and Spider-Man and Batman and all that kind of stuff. And the Universal Monsters, they're not that. You know, that's not what they are. And it's like, I don't, I don't know how any of that's going to play out. I hope it does. I mm-hmm. hope they're able to to make it into something mm-hmm. awesome and amazing, but I don't see how how that can work really. Huh. Cuz like the like Dracula I mean I mean I guess you're talking about they're going to be fighting, like Dracula's going to be fighting. You know, no, no, what are those movies going to be? Nobody I, knows. Y- you know? Nobody knows yet. <laughs> yeah, so. it's just like so up in the air. But just to give you an idea, I came up with two ideas that you could do with the Universal Monsters. Two outrageous ideas that, like, just to give you an idea, you could do so many things. Like, here is, like, this This is something, like, you do as, like, the 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 hundredth idea. Like, like after you've done a bunch of... Oh, know, okay. Like, all right, you know how um, the Muppets have done lots of different things, where, like, Muppets are in space, or <laughs> yeah, Muppets yeah, are, like, sure. Christmas Carol Muppets. Right, there's, like, how the, about, there's you, like, a pirate Wasn't one. there a Wizard of Oz Muppets, where, like, they're all different? I like, think there uh, was at know. some point, yeah. Well, here you go. Wizard of Oz with the Universal Monsters filling in as the different characters. Here you go. Ready? So, Dorothy will have, like, a monster kid in that part, like a kid who's a fan of monster movies, um, you know, you know how there's always like, like it's usually a young boy in a lot of those movies. That's uh, like in um, uh, Fright Night or uh, sure. uh, Monster Squad. You know, there's always a kid who has posters in his room of all the monsters. Yeah, and he's yeah. got action figures. There's a and lot stuff. of horror movies like and that. And usually sure. the people around them are not I- into it. It's like uh, he's kind of like the outsider, the weird one. Like you know how Dorothy, she's kind of not happy with her life. You know, in yeah, Kansas, she's kind of right. like bored and everything. Yeah. Well, this kid, he, you know, something happens and he he fantasizes about the, going on this adventure with the monsters. It's just like Wizard of Oz. You know, she has this whole fantasy. Um, I think it's supposed to be a fantasy. I mean, you know, it's sort of like a dream thing going on. But I, uh, Dorothy I guess going say, to Oz. You could say she really went to Oz, or she just hit her head and had this crazy dream. Well, that's a whole nother discussion. I yeah. mean... Debating yeah. on Wizard yeah. of Oz, yeah, yeah, which yeah, yeah. happens, yeah. But that that's the great thing about Wizard of Oz, is you could see it either way. Right. But anyway, um, so Dorothy goes... I'm sorry, this monster kid goes to, to this land, and uh, he meets... Um, well, the Scarecrow will be the mummy in this version. Okay. Right? The lion is the wolf man. The tin man is the Frankenstein monster... The witch is Dracula. That'll be like the evil one, okay? You know, and then the wizard. Well, of course, it's Doctor Frankenstein in his castle because he's given out body parts. You know, a brain, a heart. You know, that all makes that kind sense. of stuff. Right. So the only thing I haven't figured out yet is which monster is looking for what kind of organ. Like, you would think maybe the Frankenstein monster. Maybe he's looking for a brain. But then wouldn't the, maybe the mummy would be looking for the brain? Because you know how um, they, when they would take the brain out when they would mummify right. people? So maybe the mummy is, wants the what, brain. What kind of monsters are the munchkins? Well, I, mean, I didn't get into every single <laughs> monster yet, but uh, <laughs> they'll be all Dwight Fry's. Critters? The critters, yeah. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the, uh, the Wizard of Oz version. They're all going on a journey to the, the castle laboratory of Dr. Frankenstein. Okay, I like anyway, that. So th- there you go. Now here's another one. Here's another one that, that basically, uh, and this is the last one we'll end the video with. Yeah. Uh, my favorite film of all time, it's a mad, 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 bad world. Okay. Okay, imagine if you took that movie. I mean, first of all, that movie needs to have some kind of big revival for this to even oh, happen. Oh, wait, a road trip but with the monsters? A road trip with all the monsters. Ooh, I like that. Now, That's funny. Basically, I, see, this is so crazy, I wrote this down. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say all this right now. <laughs> Because there's too much to get into, but I went through the whole cast and I tried to figure out like, who would be who if you were to remake that movie. Pe- with people the want to know what what J- what James does with yeah. his time. <laughs> this is what he does. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, I got all this this stuff going. So basically, all right, whoever's familiar with 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 the movie, like 
uh, the, the concept, there's a bunch of characters all on a, a, a race to get to a hidden stash of money. So it's a treasure hunt. Now, I haven't figured out what the treasure is yet, what the monsters all want. Because it has to be something that every mm. one of them wants. But anyway... What do all the monsters yeah, want? Yeah, but that's kind of like, you know, the MacGuffin. That's the thing right. where it's like, it could be anything. So all the monsters are on this road trip. And, and it's it's like there, there's cars and there's everything. It's, 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 it's present day... Um, so they're, they're all going to, to get to the now, treasure. Now, now I'm starting, I'm wondering like what they would want. Cause I'm thinking like Dracula, yeah. well, he would want blood, but the Wolfman, but, well, Wolfman but would don't, probably want blood too, right? Yeah. But don't, don't get too preoccupied uh, okay. with that. Yeah, yeah. I thought about that, but, but you know, it's like right now it's, it's just all about, cause the movie Mad yeah. Mad World, it's like, it's just a bunch of set pieces yeah. put together. It's like, oh, this happens and that happens. So it's like, it's just one crazy thing to the next. Do you remember when uh, Jonathan Winters gets tied up at the at the gas station, and um, he's all tied up, and then he goes nuts and he breaks loose. Yeah, and he destroys that's the Wolfman. It's definitely the Wolfman. Yeah, because yeah, the Wolfman's so crazy but like that. But he's not the Wolfman yet. Right in this scene, he's Larry Talbot. And what does Larry Talbot always say when he's tied up? Like, I'm the wolf man. And you don't understand. Yeah. You don't understand. I turn into a wolf. And yeah. of course they don't believe him. But then when he turns into the wolf, he bites himself out of the ropes. And right. then he starts, you know, smashing everything. And it turns into a big thing. Um, the character of Sylvester, you know, the whole movie, he's defending his mother. He's like, what do you say about my mama? You know, he, the whole movie, that's all he's about. Just defending his mom. Well, it's got to be Norman Bates. You know, oh, no, you, you oh, don't Norman talk Bates. about my mother. I know? mean, is he going to be... I don't. I feel like Norman Bates is not going to be part of this whole like universal. Well, of here's the, you know, like, I, I have to you know I have to explain something there is that Norman Bates. I did a movie. I, I did a video recently or a few years ago, I think, about where I was rounding up all the universal monsters. Like what's what gets counted? Yeah. Norman Bates, I counted because it was filmed on the Universal backlot. It was filmed on Universal. It was. It's released on Universal Home Video. If you get the DVD, it says Universal. But right. apparently, that movie, when it came out, it was distributed by Paramount. Wah, I didn't wah. know that. How could you even blame me? Yeah. So, so there was like debate if Norman Bates is a monster. But uh, you know, you also got to get Maliva, the gypsy woman, in there too. And I, I was thought that was kind of a debate in my head where she could play that 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 mom character because you know how she's this. Oh, okay. You know, the Ethel Merman. Yeah, the Ethel Merman character. But uh, you have all this stuff going on. Oh yeah, the scene. All right, the scene where the uh, uh, the Crumps, you know, Sid Caesar and and uh, Eddie Adams, they're stuck in the uh, the hardware store basement. Right. And then remember when everything starts blowing up because he, they're locked in the basement um, with all these paints and everything. And then he's like trying to do all these things to blow up the door, and eventually it turns into like sparks are shooting out and everything's blowing up. That's obviously uh, Frankenstein, the Frankenstein monster and the bride. Yeah. You know, so it's both of them in there. And it's a laboratory. It's like they get stuck in a laboratory. So it's all the test tube bottles and all the machines blowing up. It's just like one of those classic scenes. And then just to blow everybody's minds, the way the movie ends is all the monsters get onto a boat. And like everybody's there, like Creature from the Black Lagoon and Renfield and... and uh, Igor, every single universal monster is like on the boat and and uh like maybe it's like a like a treasure on like a pirate treasure on a boat or something they're trying to get yeah but they're in the water all of a sudden jaws comes out and and, and starts biting the boat so jaws shows oh, up jaws, jaws is, is universal so jaws shows you, up you know you know how in a mad 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 world um the three stooges are in there well i think that um in in dracula um, he's got his, he's got his three, like his three girls. I think the three girls would be, would oh, really? re replace the three stooges. Now I'm thinking you're stretching there. Yeah. But that's what this is about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. So let us know what you guys think the MacGuffin would be. Yep. <laughs>